I want you to picture the new moon as an opportunity to have that kind of fresh spring feeling every single month. You know when people talk about spring cleaning, where the sun starts to shine through your house differently and it kind of shines a light on the things in your home that maybe no longer serve you, some clutter that's become stagnant, you kind of held on to it during the dark winter, and now it feels like a fresh start. Activate that kind of spring energy during the new moon. Allow it to be an opportunity to say goodbye to things that no longer serve you. So that could literally start with decluttering your home and see if you can fill one bag go around your house and look for items that no longer resonate with the version of you that you're becoming because remember when it comes to growth manifestation and attracting more attracting better attracting higher level quality of relationships things accomplishments materialistic stuff whatever it is if we want to attract a higher level of things into our life the key actually is for us to elevate, to match it, to become, to evolve into the next level version of ourselves that feels vibrationally ready for it. So that you feel like, yeah, I'm not the person that I was last month, last year. I am this next level version of myself that has an increased level of value of themselves, that has a higher level of standards, that has a higher level of expectations of the kind of life that you, right now, this version of you is ready to receive. So if there's anything in your environment that you've outgrown, that you vibrationally no longer align with, that was something that you were holding on to at a previous stage of your life. And by previous, I mean, you know, it could have been the version that you were 10 minutes ago, just before watching this video. Maybe this video is a moment where you're like, yeah, I choose to step up to no longer kind of keep repeating the same pattern, the same stage of my life, and to decide that I now am going to embody and step into my next level. And I'm not saying, you know, don't be sentimental. I love to hold on to things that make me feel nostalgic, that make me feel good, okay? But if there's things that actually don't make you feel good anymore, maybe you were in a sort of contracted lack mentality where you held on to these things because you didn't think you could have any better. You don't even know why you hold on to these things, but it's just you you, you were in this mindset where you were just holding on to stuff because maybe you were scared of letting go or it feels kind of safe and secure, but actually, it doesn't have any kind of growth and newness or excitement anymore. If there's objects in your life that represent that old chapter that you no longer need to hold on to, you can, if you want to, release them, let them go, donate them, put them on a website where you sell stuff. I'm not forcing you to get rid of anything that you don't feel ready to get rid of, but I'm inviting you to look around your home and if there's anything that no longer serves you, lovingly, gratefully say goodbye to it, move on and enjoy that freshness, that new feeling of when you've created space for what you really want to enter your life. And even if it's not as literal as you create a space in your cupboard and then something new can fill that space, it doesn't have to be as literal as that. It can be that the process, the ritual of you letting go of something that no longer serves you is actually more than anything signaling to yourself that you are moving forwards, that you are ready for your next level. Next, another great thing that you can do on the new moon is a meditation that is all about cleansing your old stale, no longer a vibrational fit energy to allow more new things in. I'm currently creating a fresh new moon meditation that you can follow. And so if it's live already, the link will be in the description below. Basically what this meditation is gonna guide you through is it's going to help you to tap into that new moon energy. It's gonna help you to feel as clean and clear and you know almost like you're wiping the static energy away from yourself so that you're stepping into the new moon phase of the lunar cycle as a vessel that's ready to step into all of it with that energy it's going to allow you to better attract to better act to take more aligned action for your mind to be clearer to receive more inspired ideas it has many, many benefits. So I'll put the link in the description for that new moon meditation. Third and finally, 
You know I'm the scripting queen. You know I love a good bit of scripting. The new moon is such a fantastic time to create a new scripting letter. It's all about new beginnings, setting intentions, writing it out, speaking it into existence, and then using the next 28 days and beyond to manifest it, to bring that into your life, to take aligned action, inspired action, to stay open to the signs, to receive the inspiration, to receive the ideas, to receive the connections, to receive the next step on that path to take you to what you want. So, I'm actually gonna be doing a new moon scripting session. If you are one of my YouTube members, you will get access to that session. I'm super excited about it. We're gonna be scripting together. If you're not a YouTube member and you'd like to have a look at what would be involved, I'll put the link in the description. It's easier to view on a computer because YouTube haven't yet made it mobile friendly. So feel free to grab your laptop, click on the link and have a look at what would be involved in joining my Transformation Tribe members only area. So happy new moon, everyone. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, consider pressing the subscribe button and ringing my bell so that you never miss another video. Till next time, bye.